So if you guys aren't aware, um, today, or at least uh, the day that this video was uploaded, is the 10 year anniversary of probably one of my favorite games of all time, and certainly um, the game that has impacted me the most, considering it's my introduction to the series, Skylanders Giants, um, finally reached a decade old. Uh, this is not me being a Skylanders fan for 10 years. Um, I first got the game on Christmas of 2012, and um, I've been a fan ever since, but even though it isn't the exact, you know, I'm not, I haven't been a Portal Master for 10 years, I haven't been a Skylanders super fan for 10 years, but the game is 10 years old, and I feel like that's still what I should celebrate here. Because, I mean, Christmas is its own holiday, you know? Um, yeah, so this is just this is just um, completely unscripted. Um, I like to format myself usually, but this is just such a raw sort of video for me that I feel like I should just get it all out pre-recorded. Um, as I said, I first got the game in Christmas of 2012. I was six years old. Um... And I immediately fell in love with it. You know, everything I would ever want from then on was just more Skylanders. Uh, everywhere I, I would go, even if it was somewhere that might have even been more interesting than playing Skylanders, I was still thinking about Skylanders. It was, you know, I, I was just obsessed. And that carried through every single year after that. And, um, you know, even after the games ended... I I still played the games, and I still had an amazing time, just because I loved this series so much. Um, although, it wasn't really, like, playing the game because I was, like, obsessed with it. I wasn't obsessed with it anymore, I just casually enjoyed it. And uh, this was how it was for a while after the game stopped being produced. Uh, I think I might have played Ring of Heroes, but that was not really an obsession. Um, and then I think early 2021, no, fuck what, not not 2021, uh, early 2020, sorry, um, I played the Rare Replay collection on my Xbox. I've never talked about this online before, but trust me, it's very important to my uh, journey as an artist and my journey as a Skylanders fan specifically. I played the game Cameo Elements of Power and uh, that game, it came out in 2005, right? But it still had a very Skylanders feeling to it. Like, I felt like I was playing a more mature Skylanders game when I was playing it. And because of that, I loved every second of it. And it made me realize truly how much I loved this series. Um, and, you know, my obsession with Cameo Elements of Power filled down. I haven't played the game in two years. I really want to replay the game because it's pretty good. But anyways, uh, that's a story for another day. Uh, and, you know, when my love for Skylanders was reignited... Um, I I think I replayed Giants shortly after that, and I I don't know. Actually, no. I think it was it was Giants and maybe Superchargers as well, um, or maybe Giants was twenty twenty one. I I can't remember. It's kind of fuzzy. Anyway, point. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What what does matter is after I you know was more into Skylanders, I watched the behind-the-scenes videos for Skylanders Superchargers, and specifically the character design one struck out to me. And uh, partly inspired by uh, concept art for, um, who was it, uh, Nightfall, uh, which had her carrying a fishing rod, I um, decided to make a Skylanders OC with a weird means of combat, and that being a fishing rod, and uh, this was Sakana, she was this small little uh, um, aquatic creature, and uh, I love her a lot. I still love her to this day. 
I made a recent status update post on my DeviantArt about this, but, you know, she was my introduction to the internet, really, and she was just amazing, you know? Um, uh, no one really gave her any attention, because no one really knew I existed on the internet at the time. So, for a while, I would just keep posting Sakana. And, uh, I, I, I stopped posting her, I think, like, around 2021. Um, and for the longest time, the Skylanders interest was gone until the resurgence on YouTube happened. And I eventually just went, you know what, like, it, 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 I'm not going to go into the specifics of what led to me becoming a Skylanders fan again. But it eventually I started posting uh, a web series, Spike's Paradise, which was my take on the Skytuber thing, partially a parody of Skytubers and just YouTubers in general. Uh, and I made the first video, Dinarang, um, a second video, not counting the uh, I Love the Skylands entry, which was Hothead. And neither of those really got any success. And um, I was planning on giving up on the project at the time. And then I did the last one, which was the Roller Brawl review. And um, that was a change of pace. Because for context, I was on DeviantArt and on the internet for a year and a half at this point, And nothing I have ever done got any recognition so you know i i kind of just felt like none of my art had any value and i thought none of my art was good because of this um and then i made spike's paradise and the views came rolling in and people came rolling in and i met some really amazing people who taught me that my art was good and that I, you know, and that my work should be valued. But I also got people who just wanted me to grow. And I got people who wanted to help me. And people who, you know, um, wanted to see me succeed and thought I was underrated. You know, people who would go out of their way for what felt like no reason uh, just to promote me and make people aware of me. And this was amazing. Um, and uh, Spike's Paradise is currently on hiatus um, to work on other Skylanders-related projects, but, but I still love the series. Um, I mean, if you guys are familiar with my live stream channel, or, not my live stream channel, what am I talking about? This is the live stream channel. Uh, you'll, you'll be very familiar with me randomly going like, ho oh, ho, doing, doing the voice now, ha <laughs> ha! Uh, you know, like, just out of nowhere. Um, just because it's fun, it's fun, I, I really enjoyed it. Um, and, you know, the series still manages to impact me to this day. Um... You know, I am working on a comic of a separate Skylander OC, Timber, uh, lover as well. And uh, I am working on, well, like, it more in the planning phase of a Skylanders fan fiction uh, that I'll be posting to probably, like, Wattpad and DeviantArt. But, you know, no matter what I'm doing, artistically, Skylanders has always inspired me. And, you know, it's brought people together. It's brought me to uh, some some of the most amazing, fun, and, like, honestly, like, intellectual people I've ever met online. And it's all thanks to this series. Um, and that's amazing. You know, uh, not just for the fact that it's inspired me, but it's also caused me to meet people that would just incre it would just help me with skills. I am better at speaking. I'm better at you know going in depth about things. I'm going. I'm you know. I'm better at just uh, expressing myself now, thanks to what Sky Skylanders has done for me online. 
and I want to give back to this community as much as I possibly can. You guys will know that if you're familiar with my DeFi nerd, but seriously, just I wouldn't trade all of the experiences of Hyde with Skylanders for the world. It is truly an unreplaceable experience and I I want to thank all of you and I want to thank, you know, Skylanders for how much it's impacted me. Um yeah, just <laughs> I I I am getting a bit emotional, but you know, just I I really appreciate everyone for everything, you know. It's it's amazing and uh I I look forward to making more awesome Skylanders fan content in the future and I love you know I I look forward to making uh like awesome collaborations with people and just having a fun time with other Skylanders fans just thank you guys so much you know I I, I seriously love you guys yeah I <laughs> um if you if you like this I guess subscribe I I do Skylanders live streams occasionally Check out my DeviantArt with the Skylanders OCs I mentioned, and I think that's all. Just thank you. I tell you, it was the clowns that sold me out, because of what I saw. You don't look much like a clown, but you never can tell. Clowns are crafty. Name's Ernest. Thanks, whoever you are. Yeah, you don't happen to have a way off this island, do you?